very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new educational video from extreme to leather this is Salah speaking uh, actually before we start I really really wanted to share with you what happened yesterday in the premium group uh, the results were really outstanding and I'm very happy as you can see if I was, uh, or as you can hear from my voice uh, I wanted to share with you that these are the signals that we have sent to the members yesterday and please entertain your eyes by seeing these amazing results literally all of the signals went in very good profit and as you can see the members have really really entertained a lot of profits yesterday from trading our signals and these are the messages that we have received from the members this gentleman here again he impresses me he have gained 1172 dollars in just one day from using the signals that is what i'm trying to explain to you always the signals will never be that profitable every single day but in general that is what we are doing and that's how they are usually uh, do in our extreme trader forex signals group i uh, just wanted to say thank you for the excellent signals today uh, this gentleman here excellent signals today you nailed it keep it up and this guy here building back my account after making so many mistakes thanks angela today's signals were awesome and yes i indeed i agree with him it was really awesome uh, we did really very well and the members thankfully very glad and happy for joining the service so again um, this is what we are doing these are the results that we are used to have and again i'm very happy to have it and i'm very proud to be honest i'm very proud of angela's work and her great signal so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so let's go now to the main subject of the video and let's uh, explain more about Fibonacci strategy. I have noticed that there is a lot of comments. Uh, they want to explain more about this strategy. And I think this is very important since we are going to use this strategy in the upcoming days and weeks. And I believe it is one of the best, if not the best strategy about. Actually, you can rely on Fibonacci on your 20 pips a day strategy and on your hit and run uh, trades. So it's all about Fibonacci and how we can apply it now. Before we start, let me just uh, remind you something here, guys. Um, this is demo account, of course, as you can see, that's why it's $50,000. That is not my real account, all right? Just let's clear it. That is demo account, and I'm using it today for educational purpose because I'm going to enter some trades, and of course, I'm going to fail it in front of you just to show you how we can actually apply the strategy. Uh, the next thing is, um, I needed to explain to you something here. Many traders, they won't accept with what I'm about to say here in this video. However, I really... Uh, I cannot say I don't care, but I don't really want to go in these uh, discussions with them. I have seen that before. Uh, I have my own ways on applying and using Fibonacci. I have been using it in the last four years and it's working very well uh, for me. Therefore, uh, I'm just going to teach you here what I know and it's up to you if you want to agree or disagree. Uh, last thing is I wanted to say here is I'm about to show you how to use the strategy. I'm not here to explain how Fibonacci works how the retrenchments are work. What I care for here in this video is to explain to you the strategy itself and how you can apply it in your day trades. So let's begin. First of all is why Fibonacci? When we are doing a Fibonacci retracement, why do we trust Fibonacci 61.8 the most? Or I mean, why we are really uh, trusting the, to, to, to enter our trades on the level 61.8, as you can know already. Fibonacci level 61.8 is actually the golden jackpot in all of your Fibonacci trades. There is a good reason for that. Any candles or any market actually exceeds the level 61.8 of Fibonacci. That means that the trend, if it's going down, if it's a downtrend, it's no more a downtrend if the market is going to actually break out from 61.8. The the meaning behind the market exceeding 61.8 Fibonacci, meaning that the market has now changed from a downtrend, for example, into an uptrend. That is one for the beginning. Now, we need to also understand this. If you have seen the Fibonacci retracement 61.8 has been broken out, it means that there is also a trend line has been broken out. It's not just a resistance level that has been broken out. It's also a trend line. So let me again draw Fibonacci retracement. And please pay attention. 
that if you draw here a resistance trend line like that or if you look at that resistance level right here it's always 61.8 meaning the fully break out from the level now as you can see if we draw here a resist uh, sorry a supported trend line like that so we are having right now a channel like that so the trend is going down right now when you see the market actually breaking out from 61.8 now that means this channel has completely been broken out and the market has changed the direction now the normal behavior for the market in these scenarios is reversing at the highest resistance where uh, the trend line has been drawn and then the market is gonna fall down to retest the level and then it's gonna continue the breakout usually the retest happens also on 61.8 as you can see we also have here a strong horizontal resistance level and usually what's happening is the market after the breakout from the 61.8 is gonna also come down to 61.8 to visit the same level again of the previous resistance and then it's gonna retest the level and if the retest has uh, succeed the market is gonna continue growing more up so that's why 61.8 is the golden jackpot of your trades because uh, it's not likely that the market is gonna break out of the trend line always the market is gonna break out of the uh, of the trend line usually because of some news or a strength in the currency or weakness of the other currency therefore most likely the market won't actually easily especially on the first attempt won't easily break out from 61.8 as you can see uh, the market has reversed perfectly on the first attempt of 61.8 like that so the market did not actually break out from the trend and the trend is still continuing to go downward or actually in a bearish momentum therefore placing a trade on the first attempt of 61.8 is actually one of the best choices or best options you can ever do in your daily trades um, I would I would recommend you to avoid the second attempt however if you are the, a day trader and you want to always have a good trades and you have if you want to have a high probability in winning your trades, I would advise you strongly to enter the first attempt always of Fibonacci 61.8. So that's one point that we have cleared about uh, the reason why the point 61.8 is the strongest. However, that doesn't mean that you can only trade on the Fibonacci 61.8. Actually, you can trade on all of these levels. Allow me to explain to you something here. Now, for example, um you know something before that we need to go to the point of how to draw the fibonacci retracement now that is the point where actually a lot of traders won't agree with me but it's up to them anyway um fibonacci retracement is actually um i would like to say it's a magical tool it helps you to decide where is the support and the resistance and it helps you to tell you if that level of the support or resistance is the right one you draw or not so let's pay attention here notice that I have selected this chart randomly I can see that we are having here a previous uh, resistance which was also in the past a previous support level now from my experience I would assume that this is level 50 or 38.2 on Fibonacci so let me just draw the Fibonacci retracement from this high to this low and as we can see uh, I'm almost right it is almost level 50 of Fibonacci retracement now there is something here we need to understand please pay attention to what's happened on each and every uh, retracement of Fibonacci so what we can see right here that we're having level 23.6 and the market has indeed reversed here but maybe we cannot count this because uh, that happened before reaching the point where we draw the Fibonacci retracement so we can consider this point right here and as you can see the market has reversed almost on the same level of 23.6 next retracement what happened level uh, this is 38.6 just to be sure just to show you guys I just wanted to show you so it will be clear for you to understand so now we can see let me just increase this one a little bit like that okay now it's actually now it's actually more correct now as you can see on level 38.2 the market has also reversed at this retracement and reversed here to hit that previous support level 
let's go to the next retracement level 50 we can see that the market has also reversed on level 50 and then went down to 38.2 now let's check next uh, retracement we can see 61.8 the market has made that fake breakout and then indeed reversed not only reversed but as i just explained to you the market could not actually break out from that resistance trend line and could not change the direction of the trend therefore the reversal from 61.8 was much stronger and the market has fallen down all the way nearly to fibonacci level zero now there is the thing here fibonacci retracement can never be trusted blindly okay that we have to clear and make it uh, obvious now as we can see guys we had this level of fibonacci retracement number 50 but we cannot just enter it blindly we need to look at the left just to confirm if there was indeed a strong support or resistance that we can we can rely on so if i draw my support line manually here it makes sense that i can actually place a trade here uh, a place to place a sell order since this support level is going to be the new resistance now the interesting thing here let's pay attention to what happened at 61.8 even though 61.8 is the strongest level of fibonacci please pay attention look at the left what do you see we see that this level of fibonacci 61.8 is indeed strong right but let's see where did the reversal happened exactly it happened right on that previous resistance level meaning uh, the strongest uh, thing you can trust is the drawing of fibonacci uh, sorry drawing support and resistance manually but if you want to confirm it you can actually uh, use fibonacci now we know that this zone here of the resistance is fibonacci 61.8 right now however if i wanted to place my trade here why would i want to place any trade here looking at the left i don't see any previous resistance look at that it's empty it's just a space here the real resistance is laying exactly right here because we see there is here a long wick uh, uh, at the top of the candles so it doesn't really make sense to open any trade right on this level because as i just told you we never trade on fibonacci blindly we need to look at the left just to confirm where exactly is the support and resistance that i'm going to rely on and then open the trade and that is exactly what happened right here so what i'm trying to explain to you here that fibonacci 61.8 is not actually a level it's actually a zone it's a zone of where the market is gonna reverse indeed so you can never say that the fibonacci retracement level is just uh just a line that the market is going to respect the whole time it's actually a zone of support or resistance that we need to rely on in our trades so let me just delete all these lines and let me just now go to the more interesting part now the question is fibonacci retracement are they permanent level uh, permanent levels or temporary levels for those who don't agree with the way we draw fibonacci retracement let me explain to you what i'm talking about let me just make sure that um okay that here seems good i just need a neutral market just to show you that what i'm going to explain right now uh, is correct all right so that makes sense let me just show you here let me just delete all these extra lines so we can begin all right okay oh, okay now i don't know where i am hold on okay so let me do something right now let me draw fibonacci retracement from this higher high to this lower high okay also oh, sorry higher low now what do we see here as i said we can see that the market is still respecting fibonacci 50 and reverse uh, no i cannot say the other uh, that's here uh it says we draw the fibonacci from this high to this low meaning we need to look right here so we can see that the market has reversed from 38.2 indeed and then reverse again on 23.6 on that previous support level just what i have explained to you that support level kept the position as a support the market has reversed indeed on 61.8 and went all the way down to 38.2 and looking by the naked eyes we can see that we had here a resistance level which was the previous support and therefore the market has reversed then the market went down to the previous resistance level right here now no, that is not the point the point is are these levels permanent or not let's go more to the right level just to see what happened look at that 
as I told you, the market here has broken out from 61.8, meaning that downtrend is no longer a downtrend, and now the market has actually broken out from 61.8, and right now it's no longer a downtrend, it's now an uptrend. And look what happened right here, amazing. The market again, as I told you, has visited 61.8. Now that broken resistance level of 61.8, let, let me just get rid of all the mess here. That broken resistance level here, after breakout from 61.8, has become the new support. Interesting. Let's dig it more. Let's continue going more to the right. Check it out. 23.6 is still being respected amazing continue digging 38.6 still being respected 61.8 again still being respected and not only that even after the bullish breakout candle from 61.8 again that previous support level has kept its position as a support very interesting right let's continue check it out the very same level the very same level of the previous support level has also become a new resistance not only that it also kept the exactly same level as a resistance later on with a second attempt isn't that amazing let me draw something here since we need to go more to the left now as you can see this blue line here is gonna guide me where is 61.8 still going on let's continue going so the blue line here guys is Fibonacci 61.8 from that one trend line I have drawn so I'm just going more in the future and see what happened later in the market okay seems the market did not reach that level yet so we need to cancel that go back to the daily candles and just delete that so the point I'm trying to explain to you here is Fibonacci retracement levels are actually permanent levels and if you see any level of Fibonacci 61.8 it's gonna be a Fibonacci 61.8 forever I mean that's the reason drawing the Fibonacci retracements is actually correct no matter how you draw it these levels are actually strong always I'm just trying to find a neutral market where I, I can show you <coughs> uh, let me just see what I can do we have a lot of lines here on the Euro USD let me get rid of all of them and let's see what I can do if I draw my Fibonacci retracement from this resistance to that support level and just do like that like that so we can see guys that um, in June 2004 and remember I'm on the daily chart that resistance level has respected Fibonacci 61.8 and reverse this is 61.8 by the way I think it's not clear in the video let me just go like that yes now you can see it clearly this resistance is on Fibonacci 61.8 now let's check what happened later after one year in September 2005 we can see that the very same level of the resistance on 61.8 is still being respected as 61.8 not only that uh, the year after again June 2006 the very same level of that resistance level is still being respected on the 61.8 and still the level 61.8 is very strong and the market not able to break out of that level even later Two years later guys we can see that 61.8 is still very strong and the market couldn't actually break out of it remember that i had just drove it with natural retracement randomly from that point here to this low here from this high to this low randomly that's amazing let's continue look at that the market is still respecting 61.8 and remember again i am on the daily chart now what happened after the breakout from that 61.8 again 61.8 which was a previous support right now is the resistance and as you can see the more you dig in it the more you see that this level 61.8 look at that 61.8 is still being respected uh, and remember that i just have drawn the fibonacci retracement randomly from that high to this low now why i'm saying all of that what i'm trying to explain here is no matter how you draw fibonacci level the level 61.8 is gonna be always very strong and there is another reason uh, the, the Fibonacci 61.8 is always gonna be the retest after a breakout no matter what you do no matter how you draw Fibonacci from any high to any, to any low 
Fibonacci 61.8 is always going to be the retest of a broken support and resistance. Allow me to show you. For example, I'm just selecting randomly to draw Fibonacci from this high here to this low here. Please check it out always as I'm telling you. Fibonacci 61.8 is always the retest of a broken support. Uh, let me just draw some uh, draw it somewhere else. Uh, any any market randomly. As you can see, I'm just gonna select any market randomly, just like that. Uh, and remember, I'm on the 15 minute time frame, by the way. So let me draw Fibonacci from this high to this low. And as you can see, as I just told you, 61.8 is always the retest of a breaking out market. Uh, you can draw Fibonacci in the other way, by the way, if the trend is going in the uh, this is downtrend. If it's going upward like that, it's a, if it's an uptrend like that, you can draw Fibonacci like this. And please pay attention. 61.8 is again the retest of the broken resistance. Isn't that cool that you know more now about 61.8 level and how it works and why it's really one of the best levels to place your trade? It's because that the market is always going to retest the, uh, the, the market is going to, to retest the broken support or resistance always on 61.8. And since we are aiming the first attempt, that means that the market most likely is going to indeed reverse at 61.8. Now, let's go to the strategy itself. Why or what strategy I'm aiming right now? Of course, after all of that explanation, that is the reason we want to actually start to trust Fibonacci 61.8 on, uh, on the 15 minute time frame. Now, to understand the strategy, we need to know how we should draw Fibonacci retracement. Now, some traders, actually the beginners, and this is, by the way, one of the mistakes or one of the things I really needed time to understand in Forex is how to draw Fibonacci retracement. Should I draw it from the absolute highest high in the chart to, to the lowest low in the chart like that? Is it this? Is this, is it, is this the right way? This is how we draw Fibonacci retracement? Or maybe I can draw it just from this high here to this low here. So why this high here? Why could it be this high here? Why could it why couldn't it be this high here? What makes the right thing to draw the Fibonacci is from this high here, not this not this high here or here. To save your time, Fibonacci is correct no matter how you draw it as long as you draw it from higher from a high to low. Fibonacci is correct no matter if you draw it from any high to any low or from any low to another high. That is just to summarize it and just to save your time from a lot of searching. Let me go let me go deeper right now. Let's go to the one minute time frame. Okay? So let's just go to the one minute time frame and I'm going to zoom in to the heart of these candles. Remember guys, I am on the one minute time frame, okay? So you can imagine that these are the, the tiniest candles of the of the of the 15 minute time frame what you are seeing right here could be like just uh, two or three candles of the 15 minute time frame okay let me draw a fibonacci retracement just make it as simple as that from this high here to this low here can you imagine how tiny is that in the market i will show you look at the four hour chart look at that we are here it's like the universe and we are in the earth okay let me go back to the one minute time frame and I really okay let's see okay so look at that I have drawn Fibonacci retracement on these very tiny small candles on the one minute time frame but the market is still respecting these levels as longer as small as they are please pay attention I have drawn Fibonacci from this tiny high here to this tiny low here and what happened later the market is actually reversing at 38.2 still reversing again on level 50 and went down all the way nearly to zero and then once the market has reached 61.8 again it reversed and we can see that fake a breakout and the market went keep, uh, went going down and reversed again on 32.6 look at that check it out remember i just drove fibonacci on that very tiny small candle look at that the market is still respecting these levels and reversing based on them. Look at that. 61.8 has been broken out. As we can see, the market has broken out from 
and right now 61.8 has become the new resistance and the market just went kept going up again not only that but we can see that as I told you after the breakout from 61.8 the market is going to retest the same level look at that fantastic I mean that is really that's amazing even on the one minute candles we can see this is happening 61.8 now being retested and the market is again reversing here so that a previous uh, resistance has become now the new support Th that means Fibonacci is correct no matter how you draw it you just need to understand that you should go with the flow go with the market and go with the direction of the market that is how you can use the strategy so uh, for example let's go to the pound USD now let's see how we can apply the strategy now as you can see as I told you you need to go with the flow right so the trend right now is going up as you can see the pound USD on 15 minute time frame is heading up so what you can do is drawing the Fibonacci retracement as I told you Fibonacci is correct as long as you are drawing it from low to a high or from a high to a low so I just wanted to show more example just to make this clear guys because this is very important Fibonacci retracement is correct if you draw it from this high to this low we are still gonna witness a reversal on 61.8 now of course again I need to remind you that you can never do that blindly you need to look at the left to confirm that indeed there is a resistance before you can trust the reversal to happen on 61.8 now let's continue let me draw Fibonacci now in the other way I will draw Fibonacci from this low here to this high what's happening as I told you the market has again reversed on 23.6 and still going up so it's respecting that level now let's let's uh, change the way to draw Fibonacci retracement let me draw Fibonacci from this high here to this low here uh, as you can see the market has immediately broken out from the level of 61.8 as I told you and look at that that's 61.8 61.8 has become now the new support now the broken the breaking out of the level since the market has broken out immediately from 61.8 that means this trend here is no longer going down and the market is now, now going to continue rising more up so that is example that drawing Fibonacci in any way is going to actually work now let me show you example can I draw Fibonacci from this low here to this high here of course I can of course I can yes why not look at that we can see that the market has indeed reversed later on 61.8 now the problem is uh, that is the first attempt and it already occurred it already happened therefore I cannot place a trade right now because we already by logic we already have two attempts on 61.8 that is what I'm trying to explain to you guys that we always need to be logic in our trades so we don't trade it blindly we need to also follow the rules that we only trade the first or second attempt on any trade since we already have support number one and two therefore uh, this uh, trade is no longer good and most likely the market is going to continue falling down now where I can expect to open another trade hmm interesting now let's continue this Fibonacci retracement I have drawn the Fibonacci from this low here to this high here let's change that I'm going to drag this Fibonacci retracement and I'm going to expand it more to draw the level from that low here so now the drawing of Fibonacci has been changed from this low here to this high here now that means that my next good opportunity to, uh, opportunity to open any trade is going to be on 61.8 61.8 right here and we can see that as I told you 61.8 always meaning the retest of any broken support and resistance therefore this is right here where I can actually place my trade because that is the broken resistance and the market most likely is gonna go down retest the broken resistance and then gonna continue going more up therefore my next good opportunity to enter any trade is going to be on 61.8 let's try to find anything uh, valid right now so I can enter in front of you um, I just want to find any good setup even as tiny as it is just let me go to the five minute time frame and let's try to find 
<coughs> any potential let me just show you that that will be amazing guys pay attention look what I'm going to do right now I'm going to draw Fibonacci from this high here to this low here and open a trade please don't do that I'm not telling you it's gonna work I just wanted to show you the power of 61.8 that it works no matter how you draw Fibonacci 61.8 now most likely the market eventually gonna break out from the level however I'm just expecting to see a small reversal right here and the market might actually go down to retest that broken support level I just wanted to confirm you confirm to you that the power of this strategy there is a high chance that the market won't reverse by the way look at that the market has reversed check it out yes indeed uh, remember I'm on the five minute time frame guys so what I'm trying to explain here is we are having here that previous support level and most likely the market is going to actually retest that broken support level that support level is gonna be remaining as a support if this candle closed as a bullish candle yes it did the market look at look at that a new five minute candle has just opened and please pay attention yes there is a red candle right now has appeared and that support as I told you is going to be a support level meaning 61.8 has again been respected that's very interesting right that's 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 amazing that's really amazing so what I'm trying to explain here is that Fibonacci is always correct no matter how you draw it these levels are gonna be always respected uh, this since I am on the five minute time frame let me go to the one minute time frame and look at that we can see that the market has reversed indeed on 61.8 and went all the way down and reversed again on 23.6 look at that the market is still not able to break out from 61.8 yet and what I'm expecting is from the market is to go down here so that one that support level yes look at that it's happening right front of you okay let me just be clear that I'm not suggesting you to open a trade like that on this tiny tiny time frame I'm just explaining to you that it is working on all time frames no matter how you draw Fibonacci it's always gonna be valid let me just cancel the trade so now that means let me, go, let me go back to the 15 minute time frame and it means right now that you can draw Fibonacci retracement at any point from any high to any other low so uh, let me just now go, go to th uh, through some examples to show you how we can prepare for the setups now what we can see right now on the pound AUD on 15 minute time frame the market has reversed from that support level all right like that let me just make it clear like that so what you can do to prepare for the next trade you can draw Fibonacci from that high here to this low right here and we can prepare to enter another trade on 61.8 or 50 by the way as long as you are seeing a valid setup now the valid setup right here and pay attention guys as I told you 61.8 is always going to be the retest of a broken support or resistance as we can see we're having right here the broken resistance level and that is indeed the breakout candle therefore th we can wait for the market to reach to reach that level 61.8 and then place a sell order right here and the market hopefully going to reverse uh, these examples I'm, sh I'm showing you right now is to show you how you can prepare for the setups what you can do to prepare for the uh, to how to open the trades I'm just trying to find something uh, very quickly look at that let me try here my luck uh, I'm going to draw Fibonacci retracement from this low here to this high here as you can see it is still valid because we can see that we have here a support level and the market has also here a support and the market most likely going to respect 61.8 and therefore that support is going to remain as a support now actually I just need some time maybe just to open another trade just to show you that this is actually a valid setup however um, it might take long time since we are in the 15 minute time frame and I really don't want to spend so much time in this video it's already 32 minutes that might be a lot actually for some uh, uh, followers so let me show you where, can, where we can start getting prepared for another setup so let me just show you here example 
we are having uh, the AUD CAD and I'm going to draw Fibonacci retracement from this low here to this high here now as you can see we are having 61.8 but the problem we already have so many attempts in the past on that level that means entering a Fibonacci or entering a buy order right here might not be a good idea so we need to actually avoid uh, this level let me now change drawing Fibonacci from this high here sorry from this low here to this high here now that actually makes more sense uh, we are having right here a previous resistance level which has become a support with one attempt therefore placing another buy order here is not gonna be a bad idea we can always trust opening another trade right here now the thing is now you might tell me but Salah that is deceiving because when you draw the level right here from this low here that was level 50 but when you change it to from this level now it has become 61.8 so is it 61.8 or 50 now we are confused Salah which one is correct actually both of them correct uh, as I told you my friends uh, Fibonacci retracement is more complicated than that but as long as you are drawing it from any low to another high for this low and high here that is considered as a, uh, as a section or a trend that means for this section here for this part here for this uh, uh, chapter here this level is considered now as 61.8 if you draw Fibonacci from this from this uh, low here to this high here we can see that we had here also a reversal so in this chapter or this section from this low here to this high here 61.8 is considered right here as you can see the market has indeed reversed from that low here to that high here so that's the power of Fibonacci that's how we can rely on it as I told you you can uh, play it uh, yourself you can just try drawing it uh, and test it by yourself so that is the strategy that is what I'm uh, doing always on uh, Fibonacci strategy to find these strong setups and of course uh, as you might already know when you open a trade when you open a trade for example let's say um, let's say you have opened a trade on the level 23.6 right uh, usually you can set your take profit level to be on the next retracement however uh, that is totally up to you where to decide your take profit level uh, I have explained to you how to understand Fibonacci and how it's moving so for example for example if I have drawn uh, a Fibonacci retracement like that and I decided that I want to enter with the buy order like that so I wanted to place a buy order right here now is the rules are exactly same of hit 20 pips a day and hit and run if I place my trade right here on that previous resistance I can exit my trade at the nearest resistance also which is the next Fibonacci retracement and you can set the stop loss to be exactly the same if you want to use a stop loss which is up to you you can just set the exactly same amount of pips for the take profit as your stop loss uh, trust me guys you can use this uh, strategy and you will be surprised by the winning ratio you are going to have and I'm really interested to hear from you uh, your review and experience with this strategy please prepare for it please watch this video because we are going to rely on it on the upcoming days using the live trading with Fibonacci retracement so uh, until then I really hope this video was very informative to you and I really hope that you have learned more about how to use Fibonacci retracement and why 61.8 is the most trusted level in Fibonacci levels uh, in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching